Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Brienne from Beyond Briation and in today's video we have a crafty haul of some items that I picked up recently. Majority of these items came in a mystery box that I got just after Christmas from a local craft store. So majority of these items came from that. There were other goodies that were included in the mystery box that I'm not hauling just because they are kind of mixed media typed items that I don't think that I'm ever going to really use. Um, there were also some puffy stickers that I didn't think that I would use, so I'm, I'm not going to be hauling those. Um, but majority of these items were um, stamps, dies, and paper that came in the mystery box. And then I have some Dollar Tree items as well as an Echo Park collection that I picked up today. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. start first with the Dollar Tree items that I got recently. As you can see, I've kind of already got into some of these. So the first thing I got was these book rings. I wanted to use these for some album making and I already broke into this and did the start of an album. I can show you here. Um, so I just used my Cricut to cut the hearts and I layered the paper on it and I just have it bound with these binder rings. So that's what I bought these for. Next, I got this archival glue pen. Um, these I like to get just because of the precision of the tip of these. I don't necessarily buy them for the glue that comes in there. Typically what I do is once the glue in here has run out, I will put in um, Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. This is one of my favorite uh, craft glues to use. Lastly, the thing that I picked up at the Dollar Tree were these paper flowers. I just thought they were way too pretty to pass up. Um, so they had two different uh, color palettes when I went. So they had this one that came with the cream, the peach, the kind of really light purple, and then this kind of salmon pink. And then they had this, which has the light pink, the really kind of light lavender, the deeper purple, and then the burgundy. And I love that these have the silver glitter around them. So I got two packs of each of that variety and I can't wait to start using these. Now for the items that came in the Boxing Day Mystery Box from Clipper Street. Um, there were, like I said, more goodies than this. Um, but I'm just hauling the things that I think that I'm going to use. Um, so first is this Sizzix um, Holly Berry Little Beads. And these will be good in a little shaker, I'm thinking. And it's a Holly Berry. It is a Christmas color, but it will work beautifully I think for Valentine's Day and I have an idea of something that I'd like to use these for. We also got this Blossom Tree ink pad. I've not even opened it up yet but it's a really really pretty pink color. We also got two stencils. I've not used stencils pretty much at all yet um, but I think it'd be fun to try at least. So this is the Simple Stories 6x6 clock. And then we got the Chow Bella paper stencil and it's kind of just like a leopard print. So those are the two stencils we got. Uh, I got uh, by Marianne Design Collectibles. It's just this Christmas stamp and die set. So you've got clouds, North Pole, my house, and then you have Santa with two reindeer on his sleigh. I also got these chipboard frames up from Simple Stories from the Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden and you get six frames in here. I don't actually have this collection but the frames will be able to be used for other things but who knows I might end up picking up the Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden collection. We also got the um, mini icons stickers from Doodlebug Designs and this came from the Hippity Hoppity collection. So it's perfect with Easter coming up. I also got this uh, by Fun Stampers Journey, um, this stamp and die set. Um, it says stamp and die. I don't actually know that this comes with a die. Oh, it does. 
was. Well, that's so fun. Okay, so you get um, four stamps here. Uh, laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. And that's a quote by Walt Disney. You get the Cinderella shoe. My dream wouldn't be complete without you in it. And then you also get the magic wand. And then you get the coordinating dies with all four of those items. So that will be useful. Part of the Simple Stories Cozy Days, we got the Brad's and Chipboard pieces. So this is one of their fall um, Cozy Days collections. Again, I don't have this collection. It might be something that I pick up, but I think these chipboard pieces, uh, for the most part, will work with a lot of different fall collections. So this is a ephemera pack um, from Prima, and this is done in coordination with Frank Garcia. Uh, and this is called Golden Coast. You get 33 pieces in here. Actually, some of it is gold foiled in there. I don't know if you can see. I'm excited to use that. This is a die set from Nelly's Multi Frames. Um, so it's just a circle die. It's multi-layered. So in here, it looks like you get one, two, three, four, five dies. We also got this embossing folder and it just has two birds sitting on a branch and this is by I don't even know it's called tweet tweet um bringing crafts to you I'm thinking yeah crafts two called tweet tweet so that's an embossing folder we got these stamps by Lawn Fawn. Lawn Fawn, I know, is all the rage right now. It's called Joy to All. And we get just this cute puppy with the kids and the Christmas tree. And with all these individual stamps, you can decorate the tree. And then you also get your sentiments. We also got these Celebrate Mix and Match Clear Acrylic Stamps from Crafter's Companion. And it's just... Um, a lot of general sentiments that can go in inside of cards. So we have got uh, congratulations, celebrate, woohoo, hooray, hip hop, um, or hip hip. Um, so just lots of general sentiments that can go inside of cards. And then we get into the paper here. Some of the things that were included in the mystery box were just paper scraps. Um, and then other things that were included were parts of collections. So you got like, I would say about um, half of a paper collection. Um, so let's get started. So we got this scrappy here. I have no idea what collection this came out of. Um, so we got this, and I believe this is by this one by Echo Parker Simple Stories. It's one of their Easter ones. Um, and I know my mom has the rest of this collection, she said. And um, I think she has every part of this collection. And I just can't remember what it is called. This is me from the future. This collection is by Simple Stories and it is the Bunnies and Blooms collection. But it is so cute for spring and for Easter. I love every page in this little collection here. So who knows, if my mom is feeling charitable, she might um, give me some of her collection of this one so that I can actually make a project with it, or more than one project. We got from Three Quarter Designs this tag sheet add-on, and it's just some vintage music. We also got this um, scrap from 49 and Market, Vintage Artistry, and it's this side that can get used. And it looks like it could be used for Christmas, I think. I don't know. I don't know that it necessarily has um, a specific use, but that is that one. And then we got some holographic, or not holographic, we got some foiled cardstock. This looks like something that would be um a hunky dory product so we got in red and green and then we got this holly with ornaments and then we get into the more paper collections here let me just make sure i have this going the right way i do Okay, 
So most of these, I don't know what collection they are from, um, but we got two sheets of this green stripe and on the back there are these birthday candles. So we got two of those. We have this bunting and then this kind of almost looks like um, balls of yarns or little pom-poms on some string. And this is from a happy birthday collection. I see that there just because that matches here. But these are the um, four by six cut aparts and stripes on the back. And we have cakes and little um, confetti kind of. And we got two sheets of that as well. And we have this fun polka dot page. And on the back is cupcakes and then with sentiments, make a wish, celebrate, eat cake. And then we also got some Christmas paper here. So this one um, says Noel. And on the back of that, we have some really cute little animals. And then this one is done on shimmer paper. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a shimmer paper. And then the back is also shimmery and it looks like that. And then we have this one. And then the back side is this. And then we have this. And the back side is these stripes. And then this kind of like rusty coppery color. And then the back has these kind of light blue florals. And more stripes. And this isn't foiled, but it is definitely textured and like really shiny. Um, so that's really cute. We got these cut aparts here, it says peace and joy. And the back says wishing, wishing you a Merry Christmas and Merry and Bright. So these will be cute on a card front. And we got these polka dots and then the four by six cut aparts on the back, season's greetings, all things Merry and Bright. And again, I don't know what collection this is from. Um, we've got some birds here and then more. Uh, these are three by four cut aparts. And get some holly. And then these are four by four cut aparts here. And then we have a Christmas tree print and then all the numbers. And some kind of flat and a winter scene, kind of like a newspaper print. This would be nice if you wanted to do a full scrapbook layout or if you wanted to frame this one. If not, I might just end up using the back. We've got more green polka dots and more poinsettias. And here is where we get to my favorite things that I received in this box. I love minty papers. I This is the first mint of minty papers that I've ever owned and I am so excited about it because all of their paper designs are so pretty, so cute. So the first one here is called Childhood and their paper is so thick and nice. So first you get um, some big images here that you're able to go and fussy cut and the white, there's a white background so if you have the scan and cut I think I've heard that it would work really well. I don't actually have that, um, but I could just fussy cut these. Some stars. And you get this chalkboard. These are really good for full scrapbook layouts. Um, and most of them are done where you can do like a scrapbook layout using one side, and then it's just a pattern paper on the back side. So this is a tree house with stars on the back. And the rainbows and their florals are stunning they're just so pretty every time they do them 
And we've got some frames and cut aparts. So that is from the childhood collection. Lastly, I think this is last. Um, yes. Lastly, here is the Glam Rock collection from Minte. And starting again on the back of the cover sheet, you get the um, big pieces that you can go in and fussy cut. And see, aren't their flowers just so pretty? And I'm a sucker for... And I'm a, and I'm a sucker for the peonies. I love them. And the leopard. This Glam Rock collection is just so fancy. So aren't their flowers just stunning? Like, it's so pretty. I cannot get over it. I can't wait to think of a project to use this on because it's just so pretty. And then you've got your cut aparts and frames on the back. And then these two, again, I'm not sure what collection these are part of, but they were also included. And I get two sheets. Um, and then we've kind of got some doily looking things on one side and then some little X's on the other side. So that is it for what came in the mystery box. Um, and lastly, the last thing that I have to haul here are these pretty items here. I went uh, to a couple different scrapbook shops today just because I'm going to be doing a custom Valentine's album and I needed some more Valentine's paper because I don't have enough of my kissing booth paper to make anything else. So I thought what better time to go and get the latest from Echo Park, which is the Hello Valentine collection. So I picked up the ephemera and this comes with 33 pieces and I got that for $5.99. And we got the whole paper collection here and I've not actually opened it up yet. I wanted to open it up with you guys and get a first impression. Okay. So this is the Hello Valentine collection from Echo Park. So we've got these really cute post postage stamps and this really fun pattern on the back. And I love that this is like traditional kind of red and pink. It is so cute. These are the three by four cut aparts. And then we've got just kind of like a checkered back. And we've got this floral with a wood grain on the back. Some hearts. I love this one. Oh, I love this. It's just kind of got a little um, dots to design the back. We've got more cut aparts. And then some Valentine's words on the back. Some little love letters and a buffalo check. Ooh, a really busy floral. And the little hearts on the back. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. Oh, there's so many cut aparts in this collection. That's so exciting. And then a black and white stripe. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the hearts with the green leaves. And then another check. We've got some florals in a jar and then red hearts, more cut aparts, crazy in love with you, oh my gosh. This is a big collection. We've got some bouquets and then more pink hearts. This almost looks like that first one, uh, one of the first ones we saw, but just in pink. And then this is the sticker sheet. I love Echo Park stickers too. Uh, with that, I also got the coordinating solids paper pack. Um, so this kit contains a uh, six 12 by 12 paper. So you get, I'm guessing you get one, one sheet of each color. Um, so I got that to go with that because I'm gonna be making a waterfall with it and thought that would be perfect. And last but not least, I needed some more chipboard. So I picked up 
some more chipboard. So that is everything that I've hauled recently. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next creation video. Bye!